Okay, today I'm going to explain you how do you answer your book. Uh, first of all, you have to open your book on page number 23 and page 24. Uh, here we have on this part, it's unit 11. It's called Record Breaker. And we have objectives expressing superlative characteristics. Now, we have um, on exercise 11.2, read the text and answer the questions below. We have, for example, um, my best vacations. Last year, my husband and I went to a beautiful place in France. We found out about this place in a magazine. It wasn't the cheapest place, but we love it. We stayed for one year and we booked the best suite and the most expensive hotel in Marseille. The hotel had the cheapest pool in the country. We admired the most beautiful sunsets and sunrises from our balcony. The first day we visit the tallest lighthouse in the country. When we were at the top, my husband told me he was the happiest man in the world. Later that day, my husband gave me a surprise because he bought the most expensive bottle of wine to celebrate our happiness. We spent the rest of the week visiting many places. The most interesting place we visit was the port. It has a lot of history and I think it is the most beautiful port in the world. You can see the real fishermen there. An old man solos a fish, a kind of woman from a local restaurant, prepared it for us. It was the most delicious fish I've ever eaten. The last day we saw the most spectacular fireworks show from our balcony. It was amazing. I think it was the best vacation and I'm glad I have the best husband. Okay, we have this exercise that it was exercise 12.2. Now uh, we have some questions about it, and the idea is we have to answer them according with information. For example, the first question says, Where did they learn about the place they visited? Two, what place did they visit? Three, What did they visit the first date? Four. What was the most interesting place in Marseille? Five. What did he say about the fish she ate? And eleven six. Sorry. What happened at the last day? Okay. Now. Um. At the top of the page, we have um. The grammar part of superlative words. We have short adjectives. You have to add article then plus est ending in your adjective or long adjectives. The most plus the adjective. For example, you have Tom is the tallest boy in his class and Rebecca was the most beautiful girl in the contest. Now you have the rules here. How could you change the adjectives into Superlative phrases. Okay, we have words with one syllable short est words with one syllable with one one vowel and consonant at the end cbc biggest words with one syllable in this case high highest words of two syllables ending with y happy happiest and irregular adjectives good better comparative the best superlative bad worse comparative and the worst superlative and far further comparative and superlative the forest now on exercise 11.3 we have write superlative sentences follow the example example this is a big school in london you have to write in superlative This is the biggest school in London. Okay, so here we have. We have five sentences and the idea is we have to rewrite them into superlative phrases. For example, we have the, the first one, it says, that was an easy exercise, exercise in the book. You have to write, that was the easiest 
exercise in the book. Number two, this is a comfortable armchair in the shop. You have to write, this is the most comfortable armchair in the shop. Okay, now pay attention. In the first one we have, that was the easiest exam. Why easiest? You have the adjective that it ends with Y and you have to change EST. And we have in the second one, this is the most comfortable armchair in the shop. We have the most comfortable because comfortable has uh, more syllables. We have comfortable. It has three syllables. Okay, now the idea is you have to solve exercise three, four, and five by yourself. Okay, now on the next page, on exercise, sorry, 11, okay, 11.9, we have 11.9. Use the adjectives from the box to complete these superlative sentences. You have large, talented, crowded, pollute, creative, dangerous, and beautiful. And uh, we have uh, eight sentences. We have to try to complete the phrases with the right adjective, okay? So for example, we have one. I think beach in Mexico is in Quintana Roo. Maybe you can say, I think the most beautiful beach in Mexico is in Quintana Roo, maybe. Or number two, my teacher said my project was in science first of the school. Maybe you can say, my teacher said my project was the mm, most creative in the science fair of the school. Okay, now you have to complete the rest, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, and what about your workbook? On your workbook, you have to answer exercise 11.1, .1. it says, exercise uh, use the elements give to form superlative statements full of example we have example paris beautiful city in france you have to rewrite paris is the most beautiful city in france why the most because beautiful is a long adjective paris is the most beautiful city in france okay now, here we have eight sentences one two three four five six seven and eight okay now we have the first one. I'm going to help you with the first three and you have to complete the rest. Here we go. Cheetah is an animal, fast animal. It has to say cheetah is the fastest animal. Number two, Everest, high mountain. High is short, like fast. So you have to write Everest is the highest mountain. Everest is the highest mountain. And finally, number three, Antarctica, cold place. Cold is a short adjective, okay? So you have to use EST at the end. You have to write Antarctica is the coldest place, okay? Now, on exercise 11.2, you have use an adjective from the box to make superlative statements. You have highest, best, smartest, expensive, intelligent, brilliant, smallest, dangerous, uh, ferocious, or largest. And the idea is you have to use these words in order to check what would be the right adjective. For example, you can say in number one, Lucy was the most student this semester. Okay, you have the most the most is for long adjectives, so it can be intelligent, dangerous, brilliant, smart, uh, sorry, furious, or expensive. Okay, now according to the context, the correct adjective is this intelligent. Lucy was the most intelligent student this semester. And finally, number two, is Mercury the planet in the solar system? Okay maybe you can say mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system maybe okay now please you have to complete 
the rest ones. You have 10 sentences. Okay. And finally, on the last page, on page 76, you have exercise 11.7. .7. Circle the correct answer for each question. <clears throat> so here we go. We have in this case eight questions and the idea is you have to decide what would be the right option we have for example one what is the coldest place on earth you can say the arctic the antarctic or siberia maybe maybe it's antarctic maybe okay it's option b number two uh, what is the oldest con constantly inhabited city in the world? Jerusalem, Athens, or Damascus? Maybe, maybe it's Damascus, let us see. And finally, three, what is the most crowded country in the world? It's obviously crowded. It, it's like you have um, lots of people, okay? So, Monaco, it's a small, small country. Bangladesh, it's in Africa. So, what is the most crowded country in the world? China. It has millions of people. Okay? So, when you finish, please, you have to take some photos about it and send it to a teacher. Thank you. That's all for today.